Hey there, welcome to another episode of Mundane Designs. I'm your host, Mundane. This video is part of my favorite series, and today we're going to be talking about my favorite party style games. So, just to start off, the way that I define party games is basically four or more players. So, anything where it's just like, oh, well, it's a two player game, I think that's co op. Three players getting more towards it, but I'd like to think that there would be a future genre called three-player co-op. But party-style games also have to be episodic, which basically means that it's pick up and play when you want to, and put it down, and you don't really lose anything for not showing back up at a specific time or something like that. So there's not an extended campaign. So these are just basically my favorite party style games that are four more players. It's just just games that are meant to be fun and not really trying too much to tell a story. So first up we have Rock Band 2 on the Xbox 360. I think it was released by uh, Harmonix Music Systems in 2008. This game is a lot of fun. A lot of people already know this game. A little bit of my personal history with it is I used to play drums in high school, mainly just marching and stuff like that, and I learned how to play set later. And it, it's just a lot of fun for me to play set. I'm never good at the guitar. I actually went out and bought the Ion drum set to make it feel a little bit more professional and stuff. But it's, it's really just a lot of fun. The second game I want to talk about is Fusion Frenzy on the original Xbox by Bits Games. I think it's B-I-T-Z. In 2001. This was kind of a... Almost like a nod to WarioWare, but it was more arena contest style, where you had to jump over hurdles or you had to get the correct color match or there was a bumper cars thing and it, it was a lot of fun very chaotic because you had no idea what you were going to be doing next me and my friends we all had our specialty thing that we were good at in this game just like most every other game with, that me and my friends played a lot with it just it really spoke to me. I've really loved this game. We always had a blast playing it. Four players was just, just the way to play this game. I try to go back and play it nowadays if I, with all of my friends that have moved all over the country. And it just it doesn't add up anymore. But regardless, it's a wonderful party game. It's really... More players in this game equals more fun. Next up, we have Mario Party, and I'm just going to go ahead and cheat and just say that it's the whole series. It's released in various states, on various systems. The main backer is Nintendo, of course, and I think the first one was released in 1998. Rolling dice, getting across the board, playing the mini games, stealing stars from each other. A lot of people make the joke that Mario Party is has a subtitle in the in the title that's how to lose friends in one game. Yes, it, it got competitive with me and my friends, but I don't think I ever really lost any friendships over it. One game in particular, one Mar Mario Party game in particular, Mario Party 10 on the Wii U, gets a lot of bad press and a lot of people just don't like it because of the mechanics and stuff like that, but I really did like the four versus one Bowser mode, which means that it's technically a five player game and it's it's just a lot of fun. But all of the Mario parties I, I went through and I purchased every one of them and I think the only one that I traded away and I never got back was the original Mario Party on N64. And Maybe one day I'll go back and pick that one back up. 
if, if the price is right, if I can find it for the right price. But it's another great series. There have been spinoffs like Sonic had one, and I can't remember. There's probably more spinoffs, but great series. You should definitely play it. And the last game we're going to be talking about today is Fibbage. I have it on the PC. It's by Jackbox Games in 2016. Fibbage is more of a word style game where you're trying your best to trick your friends. Me and my wife play this often. Whenever we have her and some of her friends come over, we'll put it up on the TV through the Steam link and stuff like that, and we'll pull out our phones. And and we'll just play and play and play, and it's it's such a wonderful game. Very tongue-in-cheek. You can make it as clean as you want it to be, so that if kids are playing, you can play with them. Or you can make it as dirty an adult as you want it to be. And the greatest thing about it is the more, again, the more players you have, the more fun you're going to have. And you start learning, like, what f can fool certain people. And me and my wife are very good at fooling each other because we are definitely playing at the same time the most. And it's, it's just a great and wonderful game. It's definitely worth your time. You should pick it up on Steam or any other format, you might want to wait until it goes on sale and get like a, a whole Jackbox Games collection, but Fibbage is a great party style game that should not be ignored. Well, that's it for this episode of Mondane Designs. I'm your host, Mondane, and I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I enjoyed making it. If you like what you see, you can support me and my channel on Patreon by clicking one of the links below. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a wonderful day.